Life and Times with Danny. Hello, thank you for watching Life and Times with Danny. This is my life and these are the times I live in. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, this new action camera that I bought. Uh, and I got this little accessory kit that goes with it. It has some good stuff here. Uh, there's a head a, a head attachment. Uh, chest strap attachment. It hooks around your chest. Uh, it's got a dash cam attachment. Uh, a whole bunch of little odds and ends and pieces and stuff that make it all hook together. You can swivel the camera around pretty much any old way. It's a nice little selfie stick here. I don't think that's going to hold a big full size uh, camcorder, but it'll hold this little camera. Uh, and a little flotation device in case you drop your camera in the water. Now let's get to what I'm going to see here. It looks real good in the package. Uh, this is uh, a Casso EK7000 Pro. I think this is like a cheap uh, GoPro. Uh, the GoPros I looked at cost like 400 bucks, and uh, this was only $68, so I have not opened this box yet, so let's see what's in here. Get it out. Looks good when it's in the box here. And of course, my name's Danny, so I'm, my superpower is breaking stuff. Let me see how we, that's attached. Open this box up here. There we go. All right, uh, some little card. Well, there's a quick service guide. Uh, it's gonna get me going here. Oh boy, <laughs> that's about as uh, pictures. It's just pictures. That's easy to read. Okay, not in a foreign language anyway. All right, looks like we got a remote control switch. Uh, and this is supposed to have a little. It says a helmet attachment that comes with it. There's a USB cord that's in there. Okay, well, there's some more of those little attachments, just like that little kit. These are the same kind of stuff. There's a little wrist strap. Let's see what all else we got down in here. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Figure it out later. Zip cords. Well, there's a, some kind of a plastic backing. Okay, that looks like this couple of batteries. And the battery charger. So, okay, I got batteries and battery charger. How do I get this thing off the top of the box? Hmm. So, I got rid of the box. I did battle with that box. I'll say something about that because it's silly. They had this little plastic plate glued solid to the top of the box with this camera mount on it. And the screw that was holding the camera mount on was on there super tight. I had to go get a pair of pliers to get the camera off of there. Anyhow, did battle with the box and it's done. All right, so here's the camera and I charged up the batteries. So here's my fresh battery. Should go in just like this. Yeah, I guess so. There, yeah. Okay. Okay, the battery's in there. Let me take the lens thing off. Take this thing off. Okay, you got started. It says right on the back here peel off the films of the camera, screen, camera, lens, camera, and the waterproof case. Make sure battery's full power. First time use one well, as far as I could tell. Format your SD card not included. Firstly in the camera before using okay, so I happen to have a little micro SD card handy and so I put it in there um, Let's see how this thing works Okay So it doesn't come on that must, Is that the power button there? Well, it doesn't come on. Oh, here we go. There it is. All right. So, there it is. 
it's on and it seems to be working. We can see all around over there in the kitchen. This camera. Okay, so it appears to work. It works fine. We hope we get some good footage off of this. And so, um, let's go through the rest of this deal here. Let's turn it off. Or hold it down or something. Yep, there we go. That turns it off. Okay, so the waterproof case. This is a pretty cool deal here too, I think. Goes in here. Drops right down in there. Now, this is an interesting thing because it closes, the lid closes like this. This little thing kind of hooks in the back. Yeah, it just kind of hooks in the back right there and it pops down. Okay. So there's our waterproof casing. Take that one off. I should be able to do just fine. I'll take, oh, well, there's one in the back too. There we go. All right. So there's the on. All right, there's the on. Okay, I'm gonna get to play with that a little bit. And, uh, now the attachments, I got a chance to look at these attachments. They're really some pretty cool stuff. Battery charger plugs into a USB cord. Uh, the, I've got this, uh, it's a little clip on. Little clip on. And uh, apparently, it just somehow snaps in there. Maybe just the camera, I'm not supposed to. I gotta take the camera out of the uh, case. But that's okay, I can, I can, there's other things here I can attach onto that somehow, I'm sure. Um, here's a little handlebar attachment. I can put this, uh, probably put it on my motorcycle, my bicycle, or my mini bike. Probably work on any of them. So it's a go on the handlebars. Oh, and the head case thing. Let's see how this thing works. Here's the headband thing. Okay, and so camera just mounts right in there in that little slot. You put a screw through it, and here we go. So this is going to be cool because uh, and it comes with a back, an extra back on it. So when the seal, if you think the seal's wearing out, I could put a new backing on it. So next time I go to do a, a fishing video in my kayak, I won't be afraid to uh, drop my camera. Um, and this will also work. I don't intend on taking it actually in the water, but I do hunt uh, black-tailed deer in western Washington and uh, often in the pouring rain. So I'll use this camera out there. I'm going to be getting some good footage with this. I hope it records as well as I think it will. And we'll be looking at that next. So uh, the uh, remote control seems to already work. I, it's got a, the red light, red light comes on when I touch it and that one there seems to already work. So I think the remote control, well, I got to turn the camera on or something. Anyway. Here's the new uh, little $68 uh, mini action cam I'm going to be uh, testing in the field here shortly and we'll be able to see some footage from it. So maybe I'll go on a motorcycle ride or another fishing trip or a trip to the woods. Uh, we'll get some good footage anyhow. Okay, so here we go.
recording. And so, in conclusion, uh, this is what I'll say about it. The thing works pretty good. Um, it did what, took some good footage and did what I wanted it to. Um, the only thing I'll have to do is uh, you have to remember that the, the helmet cam works real good, but I'm going to have to point it downward just a little bit more because I want to see more of the motorcycle and the road and not so much of the sky. Uh, the only other thing that is uh, kind of going to be kind of a problem is the wind. The speaker, the little tiny slot right there, uh, and if I go over 30 miles an hour, uh, the wind cuts out the sound of the motorcycle. It sounds terrible. So those are the things I'm going to have to deal with. But all in all, I'm going to give it a good review. Thank you for watching Life and Times with Danny. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like and share. Life and Life Times and with, Danny. with Danny. Danny. Danny.